Imagine that you are in a car moving at a speed of 54 km per hour. Then what distance will it cover in 10 seconds? Hello, I am Vinod Kumar. Our concept for now is time and distance. Have you ever booked a Ola ride? If you have, you might have known the time and the distance. How did we know that? Come on, let's figure it out. Time and distance. In time and distance, there are few important points which are to be memorized. We already know that speed is equal to distance by time and time is equal to distance by speed. And we also know that distance is equal to speed into time. For the conversion from x kilometers per hour to x meters per second the value should be multiplied by 5 by 18 that is x into 5 by 18 meters per second and vice versa that is if it should be converted from x meters per second to x kilometers per second then it is x into 18 by 5 kilometers per hour. If a h to b is the ratio of speed of a and b, then time taken ratio is 1 by a h to 1 by b. That is b is to a. For example, a man covered half a distance with x kilometers per hour and the other half with y kilometer per hour. The average speed calculated by 2x by x plus y kilometers per hour. These points are to be memorized. Let's look into a basic question. Here is a basic question. Here he asked how many minutes does a man take to cover a distance of 400 meters and, for, and run with a speed of 20 kilometer per hour. That is a man is running with 20 km per hour and he covered 400 meters of distance in how much time? So let's solve this. Man's speed is, is 20 km per hour. That is we need to convert into meters per second and therefore it is 20 into 5 by 18 that is 50 by 9 meters per second. Now time taken, how can we calculate the time taken? That is time taken, that is we already know the formula time is equal to distance by speed and therefore it is 400 into 9 by 50 and its units are seconds that is equal to 72 seconds and when converted into minutes we get it as 1 1 by 5 minutes. In this model, he is given that it takes 8 hours for 600 kilometers of journey. For, uh, he gave that 600 kilometers of journey in 8 hours. Okay. Next, if 120 kilometers is done by train and rest by car, imagine this is 120 kilometers done by train and rest by car. This is one scenario given. Okay. The second scenario, he is saying that it takes 20 minutes more if 200 kilometers by train and rest by car. And he is saying that if you take 120 kilometers by train and 200 kilometers by train, it takes 20 minutes more. So he is asking the ratio of speed of train and speed of car. So let's solve this. As we don't know the speeds of train and car, let's assume the train speed as x kilometers per hour and cars speed as y kilometers per hour. For the first scenario, it is 120 by x plus 480 by y is equal to 8. That is 120 kilometers by train and 480 kilometers by car in 8 hours. In the next scenario, it's 200 kilometers by train and 400 kilometers by car is 25 by 3. That is, it is taking 20 minutes more than this thing. On solving these two equations, 
we get x value as 60 and y value as 80. Therefore, the ratio of the speeds of train and car is 60 is to 80 that is x y which is 3 is to 4. Next model in this it is given that two trains T1 T2 starts from the same station S and reaches the same destination D. So destination and the starting station are same therefore and T1 starts at 1430 hours and travels with a speed of 60 km per hour. T2 starts at 1630 hours and travels with a speed of 80 km per hour. How far from away from the destination will the trains meet? That is source destination. Train T1, train T2. It starts at 1430 hours and this starts at 1630 hours. And this travels with 60 km per hour and this travels with 80 km per hour. So after reaching away from the destination where do these do two trains meet is the asked question. So let's solve this. Let us assume that they meet at 40 after 14 30 hours then it is going to be 60 into x is equal to 80 into x minus 2 x minus 2 is nothing but the relative time difference that implies we get x value as 8 and so therefore required distance that is where do they meet the distance after which they meet is 60 into 8 that is equal to 480 kilometers therefore after 480 kilometers these two trains meet we have completed the different models of this topic practice well all the best